testicular vein drains. So this is the important one. The right testicular vein directly drains to the inferior vena cava, while the left one is with the renal vein. So that's why it's a valveless. That if the patient has only left-sided varicocele, only left-sided varicocele, that means that left renal vein has been obstructed. Left renal vein has been obstructed. Now ADH acts on where? So there is the probability why the ADH has been off. You see, it is act acts on collecting duct. So regarding ADH, two questions uh, usually come. One is from why it acts, and another one is CR, syndrome of inappropriate ADH secretions. And uh, another thing, just to give you two examples. So ADH during diabetic insipidus, it is also related with ADH. Also related with ADH. So what happened in diabetic insipidus? In diabetic insipidus the ADH does not work, cannot work, lack of ADH. So diabetes inhibitors has two different types. One is the neurogenic type, that's problem on the brain because the brain, I mean the posterior pituitary could not produce ADH much. So that's why it is one of the cause. And second one is the kidney, what you call the nephrogenic diabetes inhibitors. Here, brain is fine from the posterior pituitary ADH secretion, but ADH acts on the collecting tubule there is a resistance the receptor has been damaged that's why the ADH cannot work on the kidney so why happens if the ADH is not working ADH the function of the ADH is to reabsorb water so op, op, water cannot be reabsorbed so there will be more water coming through the urine so there will be polyuria that's why we call the diabetic insipidus that's called with diabetes. One of the symptoms of the diabetes is polyuria. So what happens is more ADH secretions. The opposite things will happen. The patient will give less urine that we call the SIAD. The opposite of diabetic insipidus is called the SIAD. Here what will happen? The urine productions will be low and it will be more concentrated. All water will be in the intervascular space inside the body, inside the body. So that's why his rise of BP or not rise of BP, BP will be down because of hyponatremia. Why? The total sodium is fine, but more water is coming inside the body. There will be a dilutional hyponatremia. So the question can be asked regarding any of the any of this cycle. Question 47. So this question has been asked regarding the heart embryology. So is a child with an upper interventricular defect, what the is originating from? So in the interventricular defect, the, all the ventricles are mainly come come from the bulbar cortex or the primitive ventricles. So interventricular defect means is the problem with the bulbous cortex. Uh, important one for the uh, another recall question is the coronary sinus arise from the where? Coronary sinus is arise from the sinus venosus. Regarding a GCS question, so they give you a GCS any scenario and they will ask you what would be the GCS. So correct answer 7 doesn't mean what have been given is not unclear but you have to understand all the components are eye opening, verbal response and the motor response and accumulate and calculate the GCS. 49. So, an alcoholic patient, old patient in head injury and cut off the head, initial GCS is 13 and after 2 hours the GCS is 14. This has become a very tricky one. So, in the, in the why, when we need to do the CT, when we need to do the CT, the criteria is that the GC, initial GCS would be less than 13 or after 2 hours GCS will be less than 15. So this, they just reverse it. So for this reason, it's just patient is getting better. So what you have to do, we just to discharge the patient. So they give you alcoholic, they give you healing, they give you the old patient. So everything will try to make you confused. But the criteria to die, to do the CT one hour and eight hour is a strict. So go through that chapter, neurosurgery. You will find all the uh, protocol there. 50 Starling force 45 hydrostatic capillary, 10 is hydrostatic Bowman's capsule, and 27 oncotic and uh, 0 oncotic on the Bowman. So, it's just the difference between all these three. So, if there is the hydrostatic pressure is 45, so you have to calculate these two 10 and 30, 27, that's mean 37 and minus 
45 so 45 minus 37 it is almost 8 that is the filtration pressure so here is the questions from the optic track why are the lesions and why are the symptoms could be the in here they will ask about homonymous anionopia so that is done in the optic track so this one in number four is the issue they are just giving most of the time they will give you the optic chiasm but nowadays they try to make you the tricky so number six and number seven is the most favorite questions of the rcs nowadays they, they will ask you uh homonymous quadrant opinion so upper or lower homonymous quadrupenia is uh, parietal or the temporal where so the very easy to diagnose is called the pits p i t s in the class we discuss it just for the review uh, i just give you in, in short so pits is the one so if there is any parietal so quadrinopenia is inferior quadrinopenia if the lesion on the temporal region then the quadrinopenia in the superior region so just remember the pits that's the mnemonics <laughs>